Okay, I'll tell y'all a story. This is from back when gas was 28 cents a gallon. I had a 51 Ford pickup truck with a 430 cubic inch Lincoln engine in it. It had a great exhaust. It had a great exhaust system on it. It was it was quiet. And you didn't have your foot in a carburetor, and when you did, it would crackle and pop. Uh, you know, like you rev it up, and it was a very sharp, loud, and you let off on it. It sort of crackle and pop a few times. It was great. Uh, if you ever driven a straight shift that had awesome exhaust and you wanted to make some impressive noise, it was the thing to do it with. One day I came out of the school, and of course kids were always coming out of school, and this was back when everybody was driving, you know, 55 Chevys and Camaros, all the all the hot cars, we was driving them back then. The old vintage stuff and the new stuff, muscle cars and stuff. So I came out of the school and I wound her up and I let it pop. Actually, I think what happened is somebody was turning in front of me and as they was turning in, I passed them, which made me wind it up and then I let off on it. And then there was the cop. The cop pulled me over, gave me a ticket for loud mufflers and went to court. I tried to argue with the judge that they weren't really that loud as long as I didn't drive it the wrong way. But he said, you know, you've got two choices. You can take what I give you, or I can make it worse. That's when I learned that, uh, well, we won't talk about law and police and all that. We won't even go there. But uh, I just learned you can't argue. So I agreed to put quieter mufflers on it, but I didn't want to wreck a great exhaust system. So what I did instead is I cut the ends off, and I put these two little resonator mufflers on the very back, which muffled it down to a disgusting sound, but it got me by with the law. Um, in the process of this somewhere along the way, I had a pipe that just didn't fit. It was just hanging. It was just about as off as this one is. I want this one to be about halfway between where it is and where it would be if it was straight. So I want this to bend down to about here. So uh, anyway, this old guy had a garage. I pulled in there. I said, you know, I'm trying to figure out what to do about this pipe, uh, how to straighten, how to get it where it fits. He said, all right, he went inside, drug a torch out, crawled up under it, heated that pipe, bent it. Said, you're all set, five bucks. Might not even been five bucks, because this was back, like I say, 28 cents a gallon gas could be a couple of bucks, I don't know, but it wasn't nothing to it. I was so impressed with the power that man had to be able to bend metal that way. Um, I sure was. So, uh, I haven't since that time tried bending exhaust pipes much, but today we're gonna do that very thing with my Cobra 2000 slash Henrob torch with the heating tip on it and no cutting tip and uh, we'll see how that goes. You can watch. Love y'all.